How are we going guys? It's Hoopsy with another video. So today we are, uh, it's just starting to come, the weather's starting to get better, a bit better. So we're in spring at the moment. And um, yeah, me and Jarvis are gonna take the little dinghy out today. Hello. And we're gonna go see if we can uh, get ourselves a, a bit of a, a feed of Taylor, hopefully. Like. So this uh, video, the uh, some of the lures that are actually sponsored by a company called um, West Coast Camping and Fishing. So I'll leave a link down below and we're gonna test out some of his lures and hopefully uh, get a hold of some Taylor. Uh, so I'll roll the intro and when I come back, I'll show you some epic fails and then we'll get into the video. So the epic fails are just me on my inflatable last swing when I was home and um, yeah, just a little bit of what happened there, the fishing turn survival video and then yeah, then we'll uh, go and launch the, the aluminium tin, tinny that I've got. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if we can chase down some tailor and hopefully even maybe some whiting because the whiting are running. So, yeah, stick around. We'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to Hooper's Mayhem, if that's your wish. You will see him try very hard to catch important fish. He will swing a detector round and round he will find all kinds of treasures on the ground he loves the caves he loves the things he loves just doing everything to rods and smoking meat he's a meat smoker that can't be beat it's Hooper's mayhem Hooper's mayhem lots of mayhem Really mayhem, a mayhem, mayhem, Hooper's mayhem. Oh, won't you just, oh, you subscribe, just subscribe. Please, I just want someone to subscribe. All my family have subscribed, and I need someone I don't know who subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. How are we going guys? Hoops here with another video. We're going to, uh, down here today in Dawesville. The weather's a little bit ordinary today and a little bit of wind, but what we're going to do is take out my inflatable. What we're going to do is we're going to take it out for a test spin. We're going to head out, uh, out there on the water and try and see if we can trawl for some tailor if there's any and if I can get out far enough without it being too scary, but that's the plan. All right, so we're a little little way offshore, probably 100 meters or so, but I'm gonna try a couple of uh, lures. So this one here was our first one, which was from um, West Coast Camping and Fishing, and he's given me a couple of them. So that one there is the uh, Sea Iron, and it's a 21 gram uh, lure, so I'm hoping, hoping we can catch some Taylor with the lure just by trawling and while well, flicking out at the moment because I don't think trawling speed's going to be uh, any good on this little dinghy. But what we'll do is we'll flick this out and see if we can catch a couple of Taylor. The worst thing is the wind is picking up and it's pushing me out deeper. So every now and then I'm going to have to try and turn around, head back into the wind. All right. So the second second lure whilst I'm trawling along. I'll throw this one out. So this one is called a sea iron. Um, so before I didn't say it was called a, a super rat was the first one. And this second one is called a uh, pelicus, a pelicus. And this one's a 28 gram uh, lure. So I'm gonna flick this one out the back as well and trawl too. Now this video has just turned into a survival video. <laughs> the wind has picked up and the little battery that I had, that just about went flat and I was actually, the wind was taking me further than what my battery was, uh, the motor was pulling me. So I chuck, chucked it on the big one, which has had a tiny bit of uh, the solar panel charging through it. And I've managed to uh, cut through the wind and I'm heading back to shore and we're gonna reassess the plan because you know, like I said, this wind is just cutting straight across. I'm heading straight into the wind at the moment 
but it's the only way back to the car so yeah like i said it is a survival one so if this uh battery cuts out before i get there i've got absolutely no hope of uh coming back to shore because the wind's just going to want to push me back over the mandra and um a long way to travel across there and whether it will try suck me out to the ocean as well but not very smart <laughs> all right so a quick update we're not too far off probably a good 200 meters i suppose but what i'm going to do there's an, a mooring up here and um, i'm going to tie off onto it and as you can see up in there the, the sun's not out so the solar panel's not really doing much for the battery at the moment we're basically using more than what we're putting in so what i'm going to do is tie up to the mooring hopefully <laughs> and then um yeah i'm going to uh wait till the sun comes out hopefully get enough charge and then I'll, whilst i'm here i'll just do a bit of a flick with me uh line and soft plastic and see if there's anything just around the mooring oh my goodness what an absolute mission so i was parked out at um one of those moorings i think it was the one out there further for ages just to try and get some charge in the panel and yeah i was the wind picked up as i was leaving again it was pretty good for a little while but as you can see there's the shore and it's really really struggling to get back in but we are slowly making our way over it Alrighty, guys that was that uh survival section of the inflatable video uh that i was telling you about at the start so i took the inflatable out and yeah it was absolutely a terrible idea the, uh, the power wasn't enough in the battery plus the weather was ordinary but uh yeah me and jarvis are about to launch the boat in the next uh part of this video so yeah, next part you'll see us as uh, me and Jarvis out on the water in the actual in aluminium tinny. And yeah, we'll actually get onto some fish. So yeah, stick around and you'll uh, get to see some cool fishing. Oh, yeah. What? Got it. All right, I've got something. A little herring, I think. Yeah. Cool. All right, cast it out, John. All right, Jarvis is on. You got one? I saw it. Huh? Sorry. You still got it? Yep. Oh! So oh, bring it in. Oh. Quick before it gets off. Look at that. Hold it up, Jeff. Yay. Hold the line, I'll take a photo. Good job. Alright, so whilst we're down at the shops today, we bought some of this stuff here. It's called bait sauce, garlic flavoured, and it's made from real bait. So we're gonna, uh, we put it on the lures and we're just gonna trawl back through. You see the channel marker just there. There's another one there. We found that every time we go through this channel, the, um, the bait, uh, the herring and everything seem to be biting pretty ferociously through the channel. So we'll see how we go and uh, we'll come back to you if we get one. Uh, yeah, we're going, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. All right, this is on the, uh, oh, we might have got off. Oh, I don't know. No, he's still on. There we go. Oh, no! Dropped it right there again. It's pretty rough out here, eh? Oh. <laughs> the, wind, the wind's picked up. We did catch two herring so far, and then I just dropped one. Well, we dropped two now. But uh, we'll keep trawling back and forth in this little section for a bit and see what happens. Being a uh, circle hook on the back, 
You gotta make sure you get them good. See it or if it did. Yeah. You want? Oh, yeah. You got a fish, you reckon, or what? Or oh. weed? Bit of weed. Could be weed. Maybe. Reel up. Oh. What's the job you got? Has he got? Oh, I don't know. It might be a fish. Ah, oh, oh, he got off again. Oh, no. Bad. All right, we'll go back, try it all again. <laughs> Demo! Feels all right. I don't know. It's coming in. Let's see if we can get it in the boat this time. Oh, done a jump. All right, ready? Straight up and in. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! There you go, West Coast camping, fishing with their lure. Certainly uh, does the trick for herring. There we go, look at that. Circle hook right in the mouth. Three. That's three. Another herring. All right, we'll go turn around and go back. What do you reckon? Go for another try. We just need at least one more, maybe. At least one more. Job's on again. That's it, bud. Nice and slow. Here he comes. Get ready to lift him straight up and in. Straight up and in. Oh, he's in. Quick. Yeah, yeah he's in. <laughs> Just hold off for a sec. I'll let me get this in. <laughs> Good job. It's four. There you go guys, Jarvi happy with that? Mm. Gotta be happy with that Jarv. You hooked him good too. That wasn't coming out. That's a good one. Oh, he just got off. Bugger. I reckon that was the garlic that I put in today. Maybe. Try it again. Jarvis is on again, a little fish slayer. I'll try to reel mine in real quick so I can get you. Here's my own. No. No. Oh, did you drop it again? Right there, bugger. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no, still on, still on, still on, stay on, stay on. Oh, he did a little jump. Tight lines. Yeah, keep them nice and tight when they do jumps like that. Watch out, jump. Oh, get in the boat. Yeah! <laughs> He's a good size one too. Not bad. So I, cha I changed change lures over to this red one. Or well, this silver one with the red little tag. Usually uh, the tail I like those ones, but so do the herring apparently. 
There we go. Good one. Oh, we're both on. I think Jarvis, did you get it off? Yeah. Did it come off? Ah, oh, bugger. We just come up to a patch of them. I've got one. As long as it stays on there. There's only a little one, I think. Oh no, he's a good size. Yeah! Look at that. So we both double hook up. We double hooked up. Yeah, yeah, cast it out whilst I do this. Oh. Double hook up. Here we go. Oh, he's pooped on me, look. Gross. Yeah. Oh. All right, there we go again. It's the uh, Halco. Um, I think it's a 10 gram. Yeah, 10 grams, and we got the uh, fish fish spoof on it just to um, try and entice the tri uh, fish, and it seems to be working really good. So we'll go for it again. All right, you can't really see it in the, on the camera, but what we're doing is uh, along the shoreline. There's a sandbank, and we're about probably. I reckon 20 meters off the sandbank, and it's a, you know it's a big channel basically right up against the sandbank there. So that's where the tailor and the herring and all that sort of school and come through. So yeah, we're just trawling back along, back and forth along it. So yeah, we'll see if we can get one again. Alrighty, guys, there we go. So all up, you want to grab those three, Jeff? Alrighty, there we go. We managed to get ourselves six six herring. Jeez. And um, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thank Thanks for uh, spending time with me, uh, my best bud. And yeah, get to do this sort of stuff together, which is great. And we get to have a nice feed of herring tonight. So without further ado, we will say goodbye. And uh, like. So, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay moist. Stay moist. <laughs>